the band, Eva... Bond cock. Spell K O K. Typhlosion. Nah. That's rubbish. Smallpox risk. Oi, Baker. Mm -hmm. What's a, a good name for a band? Uh... Vengeful of Wankers? <laughs> where you been? Where have I been? Ask me where I've been. He's just asked you that, Baker. All right, I'll tell you where I've been. Been in the dark room. With Miss Blondell. The red light on. Red light right on. And? I'm not going to tell you a load of virgins, am I? You went in a dark room with Miss Blondell. With the red light on. Never grabbed hold of her, though. All right, I never grabbed hold of her. So what was I doing in there, then? Learning how to develop photos. So when you think it's a long enough in the developer, mm -hmm. pop it quickly into the fix. Uh, yes. OK. And now to the water. That's it. Now you hang it up to dry. Well done. C'est la bas que chaque soir on va rentrer tous les copains pour prier dans ces chahutes et taper des pics, claquer des mains. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quand ils entendent de la musique qui commence, ils ne se font jamais plus pour entrer dans la danse. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mais comment vous dire, mais comment vous expliquer Allez au Palladio, mais vous verrez. Oh là là <rire> Look at your face <rire> No need to be embarrassed. I'm not. It's photography, Danny. Is it even worse giving you the speech about the difference between smart and art? Uh, I, I want to do more photography, miss. What are you doing? Because I really like you, Louise. What have you heard then? Heard? Come on, about me. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's just nonsense, but I'd like to hear it. Well, I, I heard about you and Mark Stitch. Wow, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like in here. In here? Listen, I saw Mark a few times, but that was after he left school. And certainly not in here. I could never have a relationship with a schoolboy, Danny. You must know that. No schoolboys. No matter how cute they are. What's she look like, stripped off? I'm not going to answer that. That's... That's just smut. How oh, smut? But on your mother's life, in the dark room, you saw Miss Bondell with nothing on? Yeah, I did. All my mother's life, I did. Boys, got something for you. What are you showing us? <laughs> you know they have readers' wives, right? Yeah. But this is the new thing. One for the ladies. It's the blokes, right? It's the husbands. <laughs> look at the state of it. Now, look, look. Does that or does that not look like Eddie Cook to you? How do you tell with his eyes blacked out like that? Come on, it's a ringer, isn't it? <laughs> Here, Spud. What? Have a look at that. 
Go, go. What's that? What's the matter with you, Lord? What are you looking at this for? What's the, what's the... a pulsing round of this week's hottest dog? <laughs> Leave off! I show me something like that first thing in the morning. No, no. Look again. Who does that look like? Look like that is Eddie Cook. <laughs> oh, yeah. How can you be so sure, Lord? You can't even see his face. No, but that's his kitchen wallpaper for starters. And look at that there. See that there between his legs. That's the urn with his old man's ashes in it. <laughs> Straight up. I'm always telling him he keeps it too close to tea, Caddy. Oh, What's he got in for that for to stop me get? What's all that about? 25 quid, it says here. Yeah. And again, speaking of sausages. <laughs> Here's Spud. You seen someone's wipe your name off the board? Yeah, there's some bastards around, ain't there? Put it back up, because someone's taking the right piss out of you, making out you're a quitter. Spud? I took it down. And that's the end of it. And anyone who wants to keep going on about it can say hello to a right-hander. What's happened, Spud? What did I just say about keeping on? I'm not keeping on. I'm inquiring. Fucking hell, Spud. You know, look, we could all do with three grand. We're still hanging on to our jobs. 2,200. That's what I got. Went up to free the next day. Go on, laugh if you like. Spud, you need to get up and put your name back on the board. You're a docker. It's too late. I took the money. And I've got something else lined up. It's even regretting it. Beside the point, I'm sure Eddie Cook's regretting not redecorating his kitchen. It looks like we've both been found out today. Done it. Two numbers tonight from Nazareth. I was hopelessly in love with Miss Blondell. Oh, I knew what love was, all right. In my fantasies, I'd already been married twice before the age of 12. My first fantasy bride was Scylla Black. Do you, Scylla, step inside love, Black? From BBC One, take Danny to be your husband and be with him all the time, even in the bath. And that... I really, really do. Ah. You're my world, you're every breath I take. I thought Scylla and I were going to be together all forever. But then, on holiday, Dad took us to see Anita Harris. I'd like to sing next. One of my favourite songs. It's called The Anniversary Waltz. And I fell in love again. But before I do, I want to find a young man to sing it to. You there, what's your name? Uh, Danny. Well, Dennis, this one's for you. Tell me I may always go. With you. So Anita Harris became my second fantasy wife. Do you, Anita Anniversary Waltz Harris, whom so many other people would love to be marrying, take this man, Dennis Baker, Danny, yes, to be your lawfully wedded husband? Even in the bathroom? Indeed. I do. And do you take Anita Anniversary Waltz Harris to be your next Scylla Black? I do. Are you going to be all right, Scylla? Oh, yeah. I'm just about to vanish from his life with an audible pop. <laughs> <laughs> life is perfect. <laughs> but Miss Blondell was no fantasy. She was only too real. <laughs> Before you're going, Sino. I've had a nightmare, bit. Where's your mother? Upstairs. What are you watching? This old grey whistle test, but the tracking's all over the place. Fucking things up the spouts. A monstrosity. Bit. What you got there? Dirty picture. No, it's just old grey whistle test. What? Where's your father? Upstairs, looking for you. What's going on here? 
Where you been? Where you been? I don't start a bit. I've had a bastard morning. Told the blokes at work then. Yeah. Yeah. How'd they take it? How do you think they took it? They think I'm crackers. Why? No different from all the others that took the money. I am. Two weeks ago, I was threatening to throw blokes in the drink just for talking about it. I'm a turncoat, bear. I'm a turncoat! No, you are not. You are doing what you've always done. You're putting your family first. Am I? Oh, blimey, Fred. You've always said a job's just a job, and now look at you. No, but I feel exposed, like I'm walking around without any trousers, like Eddie Cook. Hey? I'll tell you later. Look, sod your mates at work. Your daughter is going to have the wedding she's always wanted because of what you've done, and you should be proud of that. Blimey, Fred, you ain't had your wits removed. You can still earn a living. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm acting like a Mary Ann. So things are going to change, so what? That's what life's all about. Keeps you on your toes. Life is risk, bet. It's a gamble. If you're bold, you get your rewards. Take a jump in the dark and move on. Yeah, Dad, I want to leave school. Balls to that. You're staying right where you are, and that's the end of it. So what did your old man say? He said I can do what I want. He'll back me up all the way. Why would you want to leave now? No one leaves an Easter. Just wait until the summer like the rest of us. Why well, I want to leave now? I've got things I want to do. Someone you want to do. Yeah? Well, I've got two birds I can charver any time I like. And they ain't old. There's only four days till the end of term, Dan. Yeah. So, in four days, you're not going to be one of us anymore. Be bold. A jump in the dark. That's what Dad had said. And he was right. Meanwhile, inspired by Mum's pep talk, he was already exploring new career opportunities. Ragabona! His old mate Tony the Totter had agreed to give him a tryout. Oi, love. Is this yours? You're tossing all this out? Council said to leave it there till they come and collect it. Council? Oh, that'll lay there for weeks, eh? I'll take it off your hands. What are you going to give me for it? What'll I give you for it? Access to me body, 24 hours a day. <laughs> so all right, isn't it? Good man, Scott. Dad wasn't afraid of hard work, and he didn't care what people thought. I'm thinking about the images stored in my memory. Welcome. I'm lost inside a paradise, my mind goes all blank. This is your life. You were born to its sport. We'll have you out in your own cart in no time. Yeah. <laughs> I think this game is going to suit me right out of the ground. Life on the open road. <laughs> oh, dirty bastard! Ooh. Dirty bastard! Ever thought about doing this in a van? What you doing? Bagging it up. And big houses in Elton will pay good money for it. Go on. Always stop for it. It's like leaving pound notes lying in the road. But the family's social standing was a bit more important to Mum. Hello, Bill. Miss Elizabeth Taylor upon my soul. One so precious should not be left at the mercy of the 199 to Catford Garage. Allow me to convey you back to the film set. Oh, lovely, yeah. Elizabeth Taylor, I like that. Oh, I've been on my feet all day packing bleeding board and biscuits. Well, this is luxurious, Bill. A reward for honest endeavour, Beatrice. Speaking of which, I haven't seen Brother Baker for a couple of weeks. Is he gainfully employed? Oh, he's working, yeah. Oh. High Court judge, standing for Parliament. I know they're looking for a new James Bond. <laughs> he's in uh, commerce. Commerce? Yeah, you know, buying and selling. Oh, so he's joined my world. 
Something like that, yeah. The old man loved being a totter. But there was one thing he always looked for in a job. What he called scope. You want love? Totter. Manure. And it didn't take him long to realise that the demand for horse manure in the well-to-do neighbourhoods far outstripped his old nag's capacity to supply it. my roses! Please, Tom! What followed was inevitable. I got 14 sheets of corrugated iron on there. Gives me whack before I go, cos I need it. Spud. What? There's been a complaint. For what? For the first time in the history of this yard, somebody has returned a bag of our horse manure. Because it was packed up at rubble. Now, I've worked that area of Eltham all me life. And now you've ruined it on us. They don't want us back there. I was just trying to spin out a bit further, Tony. He only goes once a day. It's shit, Spud. How can you try and swindle people out of shit? One for the road. Your fault. from being a rag and bone man. You didn't like me doing it anyway. No, I didn't. It's bleeding embarrassing. I've been telling people all sorts. But why has everything got to be a racket? I'm surprised you didn't sell the horse. Can I remind you why I was doing it in the first place? What about sharing the wedding that she wanted? What oh, about being proud? Fred, you were never going to pay for it with what came out of an horse's arse, were you? And this is just what you were like. Everything has got to be bent. Well, what do you want me to be? A copper? That wouldn't be a bad idea. You're losing your self-control. And you are losing your self-respect. Don't you look at me like that. I'd take a tenner for you right now. I've only ever seen Yvonne cry once, at the end of Butch Cassidy. I've been going out with you for ages. What are you going to say to her? Well, it's not easy to break a girl's heart, Tom, but... I think, in the long run, she'll see him actually just being kind. Have you got a plan? I'm going to go around, see if she fancies going out to Wimpy, have one last great night together before I tell her. She'll be upset, but if I'm just a girl, I need a woman now. I, I'm not just... Danny! Not... Hello, darling. Don't darling me. So you're going out with this school teacher then, are you? Where'd you hear that? Only from about a hundred different people, cos you've been telling everyone you're having it off with her. No, I haven't. Of course you have. It's what you told everyone about me. Just make sure you remember to take your school cap off while you're doing it, yeah? I don't know what you're talking about. Tommy! You know about this, don't you? About what? Go away. You're useless, you are. Anyway, I'm finishing with you. Tony Gooch asked me out. He's from the co-op. I really fancy him, so... T Tony Gooch? I, I, I don't know him. You don't have to, do you, darling? Well... Do you want to go up to Wimpy? No, no, I don't, and I don't want you to talk to me or even look at me ever again. Do you understand? Good, see you then. She's brilliant, isn't she? What if I go out with her? Fuck off, Tom. Unemployed again, Dad was missing the old gang. What's going on? It's all shit bothered him, man. Hey, hey, we miss you, Spud. Straight we do. Yeah. Did I ever tell you that totter story? Listen, Eddie, yeah. mate, you got me. Get back, mate. Hey, let me take a, a minute. Let me take a minute. See you later, Spud. Save it, Spud. Save it. We'll be back at six. All right, see you later. Fella! Tell you what, Spud, if you've got nothing else to do, you might as well have a kip in here. <laughs> Another year behind us. As for me, I was still wrestling with myself. 
Should I stay or should I go? So, uh, so a big thank you to Mr Glover and the football team. Sorry, we can organise the open-top bus, Mr Glover. <laughs> well, now, before Jeremy Langford reads us his specially written poem, The Term of My Wanker. Life... <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Fine, settle, settle down. <clears throat> I would ask any remaining boys who will be leaving us this week to come forward and place their release forms, which must be signed by their parents, on the desk here. <laughs> Days work I've ever done in my life. What was I thinking? Fancy a pint? Nah, I, I can't. I've got too much to do preparing for tomorrow morning. Not you and all. You're sort of saying out, Spud. I'm struggling. Straight up, I'm struggling. I don't have a real. Oh, bloody hell. All right, old tight. What you lot doing hiding in here, eh? You, what have you come as? I am the killer gorilla in a perspex hat. Who says so? I say so, and that's that. <laughs> what, are you dorming down the regal now? No, the Royal Division, the Commissioners, Spud. The official custodian for the magnificent new executive establishment now standing on the site formerly known as the Old Tobacco Dock. He used to work at Tobacco Dock. Still do, Spud, still do. But now it's known as Ottawa House. Headquarters of the Royal Bank of Canada. And my job is to keep out riffraff, not you. Now that's a turncoat. I'm oh, only playing, what's the matter with you? All the lads are at it, all the chaps are down here. We've got Jeff Kelly, Danny Marnie, Keithy Pace. I mean, half of West India docks have joined the RDC now. So what do you do? Well, we're 50% security, 50% messenger boy, and 50% right at it. Now, Alfie. I got six gross of skinless chipolatas, generously if unwittingly donated by my esteemed employer. Lovely. I'll sort you out later down the pub. What? The scope? Scope, Spud. Scope. It's like the wild fucking west, my old son. <laughs> Next best thing to the docks, this is. Yeah? And how'd you get in the swim? All you need is a clean army record. Well, that's me out of it. Spent all my national service on the run. Spud. Let me put it another way, my old son. All you need to do is get hold of a clean army record. I've got a good army record, Vera Lynn Whitecliffs of Dover. Not now, <laughs> Alf. Not now. Not now, Alf. What if I could get hold of one, then? Well, then, I'll propose you. One of the chaps a second you. I'll take you down, get you measured up for the old, uh, unit wall. I think that could be arranged, Woody. I think that could be arranged. Well, in that case, Frederick, my old China, welcome to the RDC, son! Hey! 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 Well, Soldiers of the Queen, my lads, who've been, my lads, and seen, my lads, we will fight for England's glory and we'll we show them what we mean. Oh. Oh. Where are you going, Spud? To war, Alfie! To war! Come on, Frederick! <laughs> and so, fellow pupils, as we race to finish, we are strengthened by knowing we were schooled in fair West Greenwich. Oh, fair. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm sure that has all of you asking just, just what will the next year bring. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, folks. Settle. And several members of staff. Will also be leaving us at term's end, eight of them, all told, and, and I'm sure we all wish them well in the various professions that they've chosen. And for many of you, there will Are be you, new challenges to meet in new mountains. To, 
But Baker, will you sit down? I haven't finished yet. I have. Right, Baker. Baker, Baker, come back here. You are still a pupil of this school. No, I'm not. <laughs> This was great. I felt liberated. And then it occurred to me, what was I going to tell him indoors? Shit. My solution was simple. I wouldn't tell him anything. See ya. Oh, well done. Nearly forgot. What? It's Friday. Got woodwork. Nearly forgot your apron. Oh, of course. Get you anything when you're screwed on. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Today, at last, I was going to show Miss Blondell I was not a little schoolboy anymore. But, before I could see her in class, I first had to go to church. Baker, where's your uniform? I left. Remember? Oh, yes. What are you doing here? I'll come back again. You know, just to stay in touch, Ronald. Seems to me that a lot of you boys leave one day and return the next for the simple thrill of calling my staff and I by a Christian name. Am I right? No. Ronald. On your way, Baker. You can call me Danny. Where's Louise? Who? Miss Blondell. In the dark room. Oh, hi. Um, Miss Blondell. Hello, Danny. <clears throat> so... Is there anything you want? Ah, uh, yeah. I was just wondering. Uh, what you were doing at lunchtime? Having my lunch, I expect. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Now, if you don't mind, I do have a class to take, Danny. Merci. Oh, very nice, Louise. You need some green, right? Hmm? You, you do know I've left school now. Yes, I know. Let me see, because this green <laughs> is a bit... The uh, colour is a bit fading. Do you want to use the yellow? Yeah? OK. What had I done? Leo's got job prospects, but can he get through a challenging first day on the forecourt? Thursday Night Comedy continues next on BBC Two with Boy Meets Girl.